Well guys, it's another gorgeous evening in May. And we haven't done this in a while, but tonight we're doing a little bit of herping right now. Just some neighbors on the other side here. People in that house over there. So either way, guys, we're uh, hitting a very popular spot that I love to herp. And it's uh, on this little side road here. I'm not going to name the side road, but I know this road very well. But uh, I've been herping on this road for many, many years. And it's one of my best spots to herp. So basically, tonight we're hoping to find some bullfrogs, painted turtles, snapping turtles, green frogs, and whatever else we can find in this uh, marsh habitat. Because there's marsh and swamp habitat that runs right through these side roads here. But we're just going to be, not only this marsh we're going to look around, we're just going to cruise around, see what we can find on the sides of the roads and all that stuff. Just the usual thing we're going to do. This is the, probably the most common tactic I use for herping is basically road herping. So... Um, hopefully we'll find something. It's getting close to the nesting season for uh, painted turtles and the snapping turtles, so we're going to keep our eyes open for that. But I think it's probably the last couple weeks of May and early June, so um, hopefully we'll have some luck finding some stuff, and uh, let's see what we can find, guys. And of course, guys, this also this neck of the woods here is hot deer country, so we'll keep our eyes open for some deer in the field so uh we're getting close to our first spot right in here all right guys we're at our first spot right here uh this here's a little small swamp habitat right in here and uh this spot is actually pretty good for painted turtles i just seen one right over there but i think he put his head down under the water so let's see if we can try to find something over here so i'm hoping to find some bullfrogs hopefully and maybe some painted turtles in here and I know we've done videos like in the past of me herping in this particular spot, but uh, back when I started herping back in 2011, I caught one of my biggest bullfrogs to date in this little spot. I was like 12 years old. Hold on. Guys, we got something here. We got two Midland painted turtles right there. Just perking their little heads up. And these guys are one of the most common species of turtles here in Ontario. And I mean, you can find them anywhere in Ontario. There's just so many of them about. But these guys are the most challenging thing to catch out here. Oh, we heard a couple green frogs off the background too, so. First discovery of the evening. Let's see if we can find some more turtles. And just to pull it off, we got our first catch of the evening. This here is the Midland Painted Turtle. And he's not a truly big turtle, but um, I've seen some that are completely bigger. But these guys are definitely a challenge to catch. Some of them. I would stock in a whole bunch of them, and they're mostly way out in open water. So basically, I have the chance to get some close to shore, and as soon as I make one move, they're underwater. So basically, I luckily scoop the net on this little guy here. So uh, he's not a bad-looking turtle, too. You know why they call them painted turtles, too, because of all their colors and all that stuff. And like I told you guys, these guys are one of the most common species of turtles here in Ontario. Um, you can find them from southwestern Ontario, and... You can find them in central Ontario. You can find them in uh, many places like uh, Point Pelee National Park, Pelee Island in the southwest, and Rondo Provincial Park, and Long Point, um, even as far north as Algonquin Park, and numerous other places you can actually find these guys. So um, there are two species of painted turtles here in Ontario. There's the uh, Midland, which is this guy. And then there's the Western Painted Turtle, which is, uh, I think they're mostly found in Northern Ontario, I believe. But, not bad catch for the night, guys. <laughs> just a cute little guy, from the looks of him. Let's get a good picture of him on the ground here. As you guys can see, um, he just tucks himself back into the shell. And these turtles do actually try to bite, but uh, they're not bad. Not like the, not like snapping turtles, but... We're more likely going to find one of those tonight, too, so um, not bad, guys. First turtle of the year, so we're going to take a few shots of him. All right, little buddy, you're free to go. Get you down in that water there. There you go. Be free. And here he goes. Got another painted turtle right there. I don't see why these guys are a little challenged to catch is because they're way out in the open water. My net can't even reach that one right there. 
I think we got some more over here. Another one. Where'd he go? There he is. I think my gnat could try to reach that one, but I'm not going to even try. I'm going to try to get closer. But usually when I try to get closer, he goes under. So I'm getting a little closer to him right now. He's right there. I think I'm going to try to catch him. There's no one over here. He's way over there. So we got two turtles right here. Alright guys, we got a green frog right there. Looks like a female. I think we saw a small one right over there somewhere, but first frog of the evening right here. I think we've seen so many of these guys this year so far. But uh, we heard a couple of them calling in the background. And I think we got some more way over. Try to locate with my camera. There's another one way back down in there. There she is. It looks like it's another female. We've got two green frogs right over here in this little brush here. So, first two frogs of the night. Got another male green frog right here. I tried to catch this guy earlier near the shore, but he managed to get out in open water, so. So many of these guys out there are along the edges of this little spot where I'm herping right now. And it's just a beautiful spot right here, especially with the sunset. But, uh, nice green colored frog right there, if I can get him on him. Take a few pictures of him. Well guys, got more turtle heads sticking out in the middle of the water right there. Looks like those are painted turtles from the looks of it. Off in the distance. So... I don't know how many turtles, oh wait, there's another one right, hang on, hang on, this is close. Another painted turtle right there. So that's a total of three turtles in one spot. And now he went under, so. Not bad, guys. I didn't think we were actually going to find anything in this spot right here. This is probably the best spot in the marsh, is right in here. And I actually discovered in here some good pan fishing in here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's any bass in here, too, so it'll be a good bass fishing spot as well so yeah we're seeing a little bit of wildlife tonight but not as much i mean the temperature honestly feels like it's going down right now but at least we're seeing some stuff we got one more spot in this little marsh to go before we can head out to some other spots a little beaver or muskrat went through there we got one underneath the water right there that there is a common snapping turtle not a bad sized turtle as well. He just dunked underwater as soon as I walked up to him. He caught me by surprise there for a second there. But he's a decent he's a decent sized one. He's trying to hide from me right here. So let's see if I can try to get him out of there without him biting me. Alright guys, got another green frog right there. Just after spotting that snapping turtle underneath the water there. Of course, he swam off, so I didn't really get a good footage of him, but we got another frog right here, so I decided to just get my camera out and record this one. This one's a, looks like a juvenile female from the looks of it. I don't know how many of these guys have already seen, so we're probably going to try to look for some other species besides green frogs because we've been filming so many of these guys, and like I said, they're one of the most common things to you'll actually find when you go herping here in Ontario, so um, just keep note. So, um, but the snapping turtle is probably the most exciting thing we've seen so far tonight, so we're going to see if we can find something else. Wow, guys, look at that sunset going down right now. It's just beautiful out tonight. But we got a couple other spots we're going to hit before dusk, and then we're going to come back here tonight. And we're probably not going to see a lot of turtles, but we're definitely going to try to see if we can get on some frogs and that, and toads. Because I heard a couple of American toads off in the background. I heard a couple of spring peepers as well. And as a matter of fact, I heard a bullfrog earlier this evening, so um, hopefully this warm weather actually brought them out and we can try to find on some frogs tonight. So uh, we kind of got a couple other spots that we could look tonight. We could just drive around, shine a light into the water and see if we can try to catch something. So we're going to try some other spots before we do that. So follow it. Let's drive on to our next spot. You guys got some deer right here. That. We're seeing deer, amphibians. I think, hold on. Just like 
three of them out there in the field just staring at me and now they're gone I think one of them was a buck right there I think I saw some antlers on that one I just I know we're herping but it's nice to actually see deer especially in the fields so we're just gonna move along well guys we just found another uh, herping spot in here we came across this little swamp land coming on this little side road right here so I'm just cruising around some side roads more south of us and of course um, bad news about this spot guys I mean we got the bridge in that we can fish off the bridge I mean this is a good fishing spot I, I imagine it's a good fishing spot too but we'll have to do it on this side of the road because way over here and you see this always down this line where uh, I live is basically there's always in this neck of the woods if I can find it right here no trespassing private property so this all in here is private property so we're not gonna turp in this little spot here but we're gonna definitely because I, I already checked this little spot here and of course we don't see anything but we're hearing a few spring peepers off in the background and that so actually not bad habitat we got a little ditch there flood a little ditch on the line there and some more swamp habitat on this side of the road but I'll probably come back in this little spot another day and actually try to try to spot out and see if we can't find anything any reptiles or amphibians in this little area but um, either way, we're going to drive up that road there and see what else we can find. So anyways, guys, what we're doing right now is just basically looking for some new spots to herp, basically. I've never even been herping this down this neck of the woods just before. And I'm a fair distance from home now, guys, so I've just been driving and driving and driving and looking for spots to herp, and we got that spot back there, but I might herp it in the daylight, so at least I can see what I'm dealing with back there, or wait until the weather gets a little bit warmer. So we're just cruising around, basically. And we see a lot of wildlife. So basically, besides amphibians, we've seen deer, and I've never didn't get on camera, but it, I did see a fox, some geese and the goslings, and whoo, stinks down here too. So we're gonna try to keep our eyes open on the road, see if there's any frogs or toads jumping around. So um, at least we can try to find something. So either way, guys, I'm gonna be out looking around. All right, guys, in here we're hearing tons and tons of spring peepers and American toads off in the background. And I never herped this spot in a while, so basically I'm not really going to stop in the spot because there's the peepers are all the way across that fence right there on private property. But this is what spring is all about, guys. Like literally right now, absolutely peaceful. The sounds of spring peepers. And American toads and there's a cow in the background so yeah absolutely beautiful sound right now we're gonna try to find another spot but I'm trying to get my coat out of the truck and see if I can get warmed up because it's starting to freeze up a little bit and guys I can just totally feel the temperature dropping right now it went up to 20 today and now it's temperatures at night are actually going down so I think we're going to grab a coat. Definitely driving some rough terrain. This road literally has no maintenance on it. It's a nice road. Hopefully no one's going to fly right in front of me on this road. But so far we're not seeing a lot tonight. Careful here guys, slow her down. It's fresh gravel. Fresh gravel can be a killer. So guys, we're going to drive slow and keep our eyes peeled for some amphibians. Well guys, didn't do a lot of nocturnal herping. I just decided to uh, do some herping throughout the afternoon and try to look out some new herping spots because guys, some of those spots have potential. And I'm thinking about exploring more side roads than that down there, down that neck of the woods, and trying to find some more spots to herp. Because we all been to that marsh habitat before. I've, I know I've done a couple of videos out there. And uh, we're doing a lot of road her herping, basically. We're just looking on roads and all that stuff. But uh, we're going to try to find some solid spots we can actually go hiking and actually looking for amphibians and reptiles. So 
Uh, not a bad video tonight, guys. Um, of course, uh, the weather was getting a little cooler, so I just decided, you know what, I'll head home and just chill out for the night. So, But uh, we didn't do too bad today. We found painted turtles, we found green frogs, we found snapping turtle in that. But uh, even got some footage of some deer too, so pretty good for a night. But anyways, guys, if you guys like the content, make sure you guys put a like. And if you guys are not subscribed to SWO Outdoors, make sure you guys click the subscribe button and click the notification bell when the latest videos are. But guys, look forward to some uh, new locations to Herp. Because I'm really starting to get excited and all, all that stuff for uh, new spots. But either way, guys, have a good night. SWO Outdoors, signing out.